Hello, this is Charlie Spellman with Valier, and this is part two in our video case study of the redesign of rwjf.org. In this video, we'll be talking about our implementation of the CQ5 blogging platform on the site. One other large part of our redesign project was bringing all of the RWJF blogs into the CQ5 ecosystem. And to that end, we actually built two different blogging templates within CQ5, making use of the CQ5 blogging platform. And we actually made these as reusable templates so we can easily spin up future blogs whenever RWJF wants to create a new avenue to talk to their audience. So this is the Pioneering Ideas blog. You can see it's a relatively standard blog design here, listing of posts, and we can get a list of featured contributors or posts or topics up here, and we've got an RSS link, about pages, or we can do a search on the blog. We can also add new posts just by clicking the button right up here. So let's do that. We're gonna add a new testing post. Enter the post title here, and then press create post. And so here I've got my post editing interface. And you see I have a whole different small subset of components available here for blog authoring. So I'm going to add some of my lorem ipsum text in here, just a few paragraphs worth, and press OK. And now let's make use of some of these components here on the side. Let's add a video. I'm going to edit that video. And let's search for Pioneer something Pioneer related, project health design, okay. And um, I'm gonna uncheck this small form video. Let's make this a, a wide video here, full screen. And uh, let's add some more text now. Add some more lorem ipsum beneath this. And then um, I'm gonna add an image. And so uh, one thing to note here is that the digital asset management system that comes bundled with CQ5 is also housing all of RWJF's uh, photography database. So I can actually search in the side here and uh, bring up images tagged with metadata um, associated with Pioneer. So let's give that a try real quick. You know, and you can see a couple of photo shoots coming up here. Uh, I'm going to scroll down. Let's take uh, this image here with the kid and the uh, Skateboard. So I'm going to press edit here and just drag and drop this image in. And then I can actually crop from right within here. Let's change this to a free crop and get just sort of a landscape view of feet in the skateboard. And I want to go to the image properties and also make this one a full width image. There we go. I'm going to add one more block of text beneath this. Press OK, and there we go. It's starting to look like a blog post. Press Preview, and here's what my post would look like in the full text body. From here, it's just a matter of setting some post metadata, like an author, and publishing the post. As mentioned earlier in the video, we actually have multiple templates for blogging uh, within the, the implementation. So let's take a look at an, another one of those, uh, the second blog here. And you can see that the look and feel of this blog is entirely different from the first one. You know, there's a, there's a whole different right rail here, um, and the design and implementation are totally different, but you can see that adding a post, that whole flow is actually uh, identical. You know, the bar here at the top, still press the add entry, and I can type a testing post, and press create post here. And the very familiar main area to, to drag content in. The list of available components is a little bit different here, um, and there's a new set of components that can be used in, in the right rail, um, but that's all just specific to the template. The whole flow and the, the back end behind all this is actually very, very similar. So, jumping back into the content tree here, I think the last thing we want to demonstrate is how easy it is to spin up a new blog that follows either of the two templates we've already looked at. So when I press the new button here, I'm in, I'm in the blog's hierarchy, so when I press new, I have these two options, the internal blog or the alt blog, which is how we've named our templates. Um, I'm going to select the internal blog and call this my testing blog. And that's it. 
we have a new blog with no development intervention required for the most part. Um, I double click in here. You can see this is sort of the outline of the blog we already saw, right? And we've got a, an RS feed get, RSS feed getting automatically generated here. Uh, the search will work against this new blog we've created. It's just a matter of starting to fill it out with some posts. Um, so when I press add entry here, I'm going to call this the first post of the blog. Create that post and add a little bit of text here. And I go back to the, the main blog home now, and you can see posts get added, just as you would expect them to. Well, that'll do it for demoing blogging on rwjf.org using CQ5. Thanks for watching, and for more information on Valir, please visit us at valir.com. Thanks.